Yep. Aloha all. It's going to be my birthday soon. Not too soon, but soon-ish. And a few days back, maybe a couple weeks ago, we started a 50 days of fun for me. Yep. Started a 50 days of fun list and I'll be turning 50. Yes, half a century. I own it. I embrace it and I'm grateful for it. What a beautiful life I've had. So many amazing experiences. I have met lovely, wonderful people. Joy is shared with me every day somehow through nature, through people that I've met, stories that I've read and shared. I'm really excited to say that some of these have been just the best experiences and it's only been a few days since we've started this. One of the list that I have on here is uh, listening to records. I went to an old record store and bought some old records, hoping they would work on my record player and not be all scratchy. and. They turned out mwah, amazing. I have some of my favorite singers with some of my favorite songs. It's been such a blessing to share these with our children. Otis Redding, my goodness. I still have um, quite a few left that I want to go back and get though. Uh, also on the list, I had a Xanadu dinner and a movie and got to watch Xanadu with our youngest children and share those experiences with them. The music I've been sharing with them quite some time, so it was great to put the visuals to the music. Uh, we walked by a river one day, and I also read the book, The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. Lovely story by Charlie Mackery, or McKissy, McKissy, McKissy? I believe how he says his last name. Lovely story, lovely animation also uh, on TV. I'll have the link below in my description. And I have to also add that I planted hydrangea outside. I planted more hydrangea because why not? The more flowers, the more love to share. And I'm looking forward to filling the rest of these squares until my actual birthday and beyond. Uh, I love exploring. I love, 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 love sharing these experiences with all of you. And thank you so much for being a part of this community here on my YouTube channel. And uh, I couldn't think of a better experience to share with you than one of my favorite places to visit in New England, Cape Cod and P-Town, Provincetown. And Provincetown is also located um, at the tip of Cape Cod. Both of those are located in Massachusetts. And we were described, I think someone showed this to us, where here's Cape Cod and here's P-Town up here. So please enjoy, and I, one interesting fact, uh, I have always loved rainbows. When I used to teach, my students would ask me what my favorite color was, and I'd always tell them rainbow, because I could not pick. 
I can't pick a favorite star. I can't pick a favorite song. I cannot pick a favorite color. I love them all. And rainbows have just always been such a gift, a symbolism of promises kept, a symbolism of magical imagination being lived and seen and proof that beauty uh, is attainable. Beauty is all around and can come in the darkest of storms, after the darkest of storms. I love the rainbow and all its diverse beauty. And I love what it symbolizes. I love what it symbolizes in people. Accepting all for all the love that they bring in the many beautiful ways. Thank you for watching. As stated on CapeCodChamber.org, welcome to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Our charming coastal New England destination offers a perfect blend of iconic landscapes, historic charm, and stunning beaches. Peak season for visiting Cape Cod is the summer months. When summer is out of session, the weather is warm and the beaches are at their finest. However, spring and fall are a golden opportunity to take advantage of off-season lodging rates, fewer crowds, pleasant weather, and local festivals. Winter provides a serene ambiance and opportunities for cozy escapes, and the holiday season is chock full of festive village strolls, Christmas parades, grand illuminations, and seasonal cheer. Cape Cod spans approximately 400 square miles, so it's a good idea to plan your visit beforehand. Decide on how long you plan to stay, the towns you'd like to explore, and the activities you're interested in. The Cape is renowned for its breathtaking beaches, fresh seafood, rich maritime heritage, and diverse experiences from nature trails and water sports to history and culture. I have loved glass and blown glass artwork uh, for many, 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 many years because of its beauty and intricate creative process. Uh, I just, it's just such a joy to see all the beautiful creations that can come from glass. We visited the Sandwich Glass Museum in Cape Cod and as stated on sandwichglassmuseum.org, the Sandwich Historical Society and its glass museum collects, preserves, and interprets the history of the town of Sandwich, Massachusetts, the oldest town on Cape Cod. A large part of Sandwich history is involved with American glass production. The Sandwich Glass Museum has relit the fires in Sandwich with a glass furnace for hourly glass making presentations and exhibits that tell the story of the glass industry in Sandwich. While we will not be able to completely recreate that blooming smoking glass factory, our visitors are able to feel the heat from the glass furnace on their faces and watch as the glass blower transforms molten glass into unique works of art. hard work perfecting these colors. Just the other day I put a tad too much silver nitrate into the batch and the color was completely ruined. 
I use many other chemicals, such as oxides of cobalt, lead, and uranium. <coughs> Sorry. Where's my handkerchief? <coughs> that uranium dust seems to tickle my throat worse than all the others, but the yellow color it makes is so beautiful. Now let's see, where was I? Oh yes. My goodness, look at the time. I must meet with the boss, or rather Mr. Jarvis, before the day is over to schedule our next trip to Europe. We find some of our best oxides in London and Paris. Well, I really must go now, but feel free to stay and look in the drawers to your left. I'm sure you can be trusted. You'll find lots more information about color and chemistry. Oh, and just one more thing. The real color expert, James Danforth Lloyd, died in 1920, but I am his great-great-grandson.
Even my decanter that will hold a claret matches the glasses. As you know, this time of year is the last for the celery. It is a delicacy. I have it here on my left in the celery vase. Oh, by keeping it in water, it stays nice and crisp all through dinner. My serving bowls will hold cranberries, potatoes, carrots, and peas, along with some vinegar and pickles. But it won't be done for a few more minutes. How genteel my company. It's always hard for someone not to grab a greasy drumstick with bare hands. So I set up the finger bowls, a brief dip, a wipe with the napkin, and we're on to our last course dessert. Tonight, I'm serving fruit, cheese, and a cake.
I've been 